Hi, welcome to my uh, little video. I'm about to show you how to make a gratin de macaroni, which is your mac and cheese. But inside, I'm going to season it with a little bit of truffle oil and some fresh truffle, but I'm going to dice into that here. Huh? I'm prepping that here. I'm catering a little party tonight, and that's on the menu. So I'm using it to make one of the videos. So to make that mac and cheese, first you need to have some bechamel sauce. I'm gonna take you in a second in how to make that bechamel sauce. So to make that sauce, first thing I need to do, I'm going to make a roux. A roux is a binding agent uh, made out of butter and flour. That's gonna help the milk that's going to be added to it to thicken up and get a nice nap and consistency. I will myself use that sauce after to make a beautiful mac and cheese. So, I'm gonna take my butter, putting in that pan here, let it melt, and add the flour to it. Then I will add my milk, a bay leaf to it, season it with a little bit of nutmeg, cayenne pepper, and some salt. Bechamel sauce is a white sauce, so it's very important to keep the roux white. You know, roux, you have three different kinds of roux. You have a white roux, a brown roux, and a brown roux. White, blonde, brown. The more you cook it, the more color it will get. For that, we want to make sure we keep it nice and white. If it was for another sauce, if you want to make it created a brown sauce, you will take it farther in its cooking time. So the butter is starting to melt. So I have my flour and I'm going to mix those two together. As I mix it together, it's going to become like a sandy consistency. Little paste. I'm going to let that roux cook for two to three minutes to make sure I lose the flour taste from it. You know, I want to cook that flour out so when I eat the sauce, I don't have that feel of flour under my tongue. So it's very important to cook the roux a couple minutes at a low heat so you just cook the flour out. So the roux is ready. I'm going to add the milk to it. I'm going to stir it very well. And you see that that's going to thicken up very quick. You need to make sure that the mixture comes to a boil so it thickens up. Uh, if it doesn't come to a boil, it won't thicken. You know, the flour will cook and uh, activate its starch to thicken up our sauce. You can see that sauce getting thicker. You want to make sure you stir it consistently, or you know that room may just stay in the bottom and uh, start to burn on you. So you want to be careful. Make sure you go on the edge of the pan too because that's where sometimes some of that roux stays. So you make sure you go around with the whisk very well to grab everything. So now it's coming to a boil. I'm gonna lower my heat and just let it cook for a good five minutes so all the flavor combine well. Okay, so I have a nice sauce here. It's got a nice texture. How do you know it's got a nice texture as you put a spoon on it and it needs to coat it very well. See, it coat the spoon very well. There is no lumps. That's beautiful sauce right here. It's ready. I'm going to turn it off and pour it into a little container. I have some cooked pasta here. It's around 140 grams of dry pasta that I cooked. You could use any kind of pasta really, you know. Uh, I wouldn't use spaghetti or linguine for that. You could, but 
it's 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 not usually what we use. A macaroni is going to be more of a, a smaller pasta, like a penne, like a orecchetti, and uh, those kind here of pasta. Okay, so here are those pasta, my bechamel sauce, some cheese, nice sweet cheese, and uh, truffle oil and truffle. So how do I do that? I'm going to take my bechamel sauce. Uh, I have around half liter of bechamel sauce in here that I'm going to add into those pasta. I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to add some truffle oil, not too much, a little drizzle. It's good truffle oil, it's very strong in flavor. Stir it in. A little of my cheese to bind it a little bit when it's cooking and the rest will go on top. Here I had 150 gram of grated Swiss cheese. I'm going to take those truffle here and chop them up. Smells so good. We're on full season for truffle, depending when you're watching the video. Those are black summer truffle. You could use other mushroom, a little less expensive if you want. But those mushrooms need to be cooked prior to adding them into your mac and cheese. Very important. I'm going to take those, put them inside. Season it with some salt and some black pepper. Mix all that together. You see, it's, it's a little pasty, but it's not too dry. Huh? You want to make sure you have a nice amount of bechamel so it's not dry when you eat it. Now I have a gratin dish here, which I oil lightly prior to it. And I'm going to add my pasta into it. Everything nicely like that. On top of that, I'm going to sprinkle my cheese. You sprinkle it all over here. And then I'm going to put that under my broiler in my oven till I have a nice caramelization on it. We call it gratin because gratin comes from the French word gratiner, which means to bring color onto a dish on which you add some cheese on it or sometimes it could be breadcrumb. Sometimes if you want you could add a little bit breadcrumb for our texture on it. I personally don't enjoy some breadcrumb. If you do enjoy it, take some breadcrumb, mix it with your cheese and just sprinkle it on top the same way I just did here. Then I'm going to put it under the broiler in my oven. But I can do that right away since everything is hot here. I just made the sauce bechamel, I just cooked my pasta, so it's, it's pretty warm. Five minutes under the broiler is going to be enough to make sure everything is hot. If you had prepared that dish earlier in the day, for a dinner you're having later, you know, and it was in the fridge, you would like to put it in the oven around 300 degrees for a good 20 minutes, and then under the broiler to make sure it's hot. And if I just take it out of the fridge, put it under my broiler, I'm going to get a nice color but it would be cold inside. So that's a very important point. Under the broiler till we have a nice caramelization. So it's in the oven. It's getting a nice little color. 
gonna take a good five minutes under that broiler. The gratin just come out of the oven. It's done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick demo on how to make a little gratin de macaroni au truffe. Or you could say the truffle mac and cheese. Let me know if you liked it. Thank you. Bye bye. Happy cooking.